everyone. Welcome to Learn Easy with Selena. The Indian Council has released the examination dates for ICSC and ISC. As per the schedule, the geography exam is on 2nd July. So dear children, your exam is going to be on 2nd July, which means you have almost a month to prepare for the exam. Now, when it comes to geography, I have seen most of the children are worried about the topographical map. Topographical map carries 20 marks in ICAC exam. I'll share with you a very simple method to interpret the topographical map and tackle all the questions in the exams. So, you are sure of getting 20 out of 20 in the exams. So, I'm going to teach you the basic details of the topographical map. Are you ready then? To make it more specific and simple for you all, I have divided this chapter into three segments. In the first segment, I'm going to teach you the introduction, then the very important grid, grid, four-figure grid and six-figure grid, then the counter lines. In the second segment, we will be doing directions, scale and distance. And in the last segment, that is the third segment, we'll be doing colors and legends, man-made and natural features, occupations, and drainage. So with this, we'll be covering all the important questions that will be coming in the exams for you all. Okay, so shall we start the class? Okay, in part one, introduction first. What are topographical maps? Now, sometimes they might ask you the definition sometimes they might not but it's always better to know what are the definitions okay a topographic map is a detailed and accurate graphic representation of cultural and natural features that appear on the earth's surface so topographic map actually it is a depiction of a place now if you remember there are two types of maps okay large scale and small scale so your topographic map is a large scale map. So small area which is shown with a great detail. Okay, now we'll move to grid. Now grid is very important in topographical map. You know, uh, for this topographical map, you will almost get like four to five marks in topographical map. Out of 20, almost five to four to five marks you will get only for finding the grid. Now what is grid first? Let us, let us understand. A grid reference helps in finding the exact location of a place in a map through a set of lines called the eastings and the northings. Now, when I say about easting and northings, that is where the children make mistake. Okay, so they are not clear about what is easting and what is northing. And here, if you get mixed up, you won't get any marks. So first try to understand what is easting and what is northing. Now easting means vertical line. Okay, can you see this? 61, 62, 63. These are the vertical lines. These are called eastings. Then northing means the horizontal line. This 32, 33, 34, 35. This is northings. Okay, so when we go northings, we are going upward. And when we go eastings, we are going sidewards. Okay. So always remember in the grid, easting always come first. Easting first, after that, the northings. Now let me give you a tip about easting. Now, when we talk about easting, you are moving towards here. See here. You are moving along the corridor. So this 61, 62, 63. That's your easting. Okay. And northing means it's as if you are climbing the steps. Like here, 32, 33, 34. So that's the northings. Okay. So I hope you are clear. As I already told you, there are two types of grid. Four-figure grid and six-figure grid. Once you know how to find the four-figure grid, it is very easy to get six-figure grid. Now, first of all, I'll show you how to find the four-figure grid. Just watch carefully and try to understand. Okay, now see I have a topographical map with me. I'll show you the four-figure grid. Hmm. Now see here, 
there is a village called Kamira out here. Now I need to find out the four figure grid of this. Now going by the formula as I told you, we have to go first the easting line, then the northing line. Now we have to see where this Pamera comes. See here, Pamera comes in between 16 and 17. It comes in between 16 and 17. So Pamera comes in between easting 16 and 17. So what we need to write? First number, not the second number. Always remember, we always write the first number. So that is 16. Now let's look at the northing. Northing comes in between 20 to 23. Pamera comes in between 20 to 23. Now going by the same rule, what will be our first number? 22. So our next number will be 22. That's our answer. Simple. Pamera 16, 22. Four figure grid. Okay. To be more clear, we'll do one more. Okay. Next, we'll take Sanwara. Now, look this Sanwara. Sanwara, it comes easting between 20, 21. Okay. Very easy. So, our answer will be 20. Eastings. Okay. Now let's go and see the northings. Northings come in between 25-26. See here. 25-26. Again apply the same rule. The first number. First number 25. So I hope it is clear to you. Four figure grid is very simple. Only thing is you have to remember where it comes okay in between which grid number it comes and always remember to write the first number hmm? first go with the easting then go with the northing very simple and you will get the marks okay don't worry now sometimes what happen is a village will come in between two grid and that time you will be confused which grid to write you can write either of it and you will get the marks now we will go to six figure grid very simple. Okay, we will follow the same method. The only thing is we will be adding the two number. So, how we are going to do that? Let us see that. To find the six figure grid, you need a scale. See children? Now, here each grid is divided into two centimeters. Mm. All our grid is divided into two centimeters square. Okay, all the squares are two centimeters. So, now two centimeter means how much? See, 1 centimeter equals to 10 millimeter. Then 2 centimeter means 20 millimeters. Okay. Now, these 20 millimeters should be equally divided into 10. That means, whatever the number you get, you have to divide that by 2. And that will be your answer. Now, if you get 10 means divide by 2, that means 5. If you get 14 means divide by 2, that means you are getting 7. Okay. Is that clear? I hope that is clear to you. Now, let me do practically and show to you. Suppose you are asked to find 6 figure grid of police station here. Okay. So, now what we will do first? First, we will find the 4 figure grid. Now, if you look, Pamera. So, Pamera actually we have already found, no? Four figure grid. So, so what is it? 16 dash 22 dash. Now, we will find the remaining two digits. As I have already told you, it is 2, two centimeter, that means 20 millimeter, 20 millimeter. Okay. So, now this already makes your 10. 11, 12, 13, 14. So, your PS is coming in between 14 to 6, 14 to 15. So, we will take 14. Okay. So, now when we say 14, that means as I already told you, going by the rule, 14 divided by 2. 14 divided by 2 means 7. So, your first number will be, so your first number will be 7. 
Now next is no things. Okay. Now here be careful. When we did east thing, your ruler horizontal. Now no thing should be vertical. Okay. Now let's keep here. Make sure the point exactly touches the two lines. Hmm. I see here. As I already told you, one means five. If that is ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. So twelve comes between twelve thirteen. Okay. So we'll take that twelve. So twelve means twelve divided by two. That means six. So now see here, six figure grid. So you have sixteen by seven, twenty-two six. So you are getting your six figure grid for the police station in Pamir. Simple. I'll do one more for you all so that you'll get the concept clear. Let's find out. Sometimes it's not necessary that they will give you a temple or a house. They might give you a tank or a tree. Okay. So you have to be very careful what they are asking, and you should be clear with it. Suppose you are asked to find out the six-figure grid of spot height four three seven. Spot height four three seven. Now, how will you find that? First, as I told you, you we will find the four-figure grid. Okay. So that is four three seven is coming in between Eastings twenty one twenty two. So, as by rule, it is coming in between 21, 22. So, what will we write? 21, then keep a dash. So, your northing comes in between 18 and 19. So, going by the rule, we will write the first number that is 18 and put a dash. Okay, keep your scale straight, find the spot height. It's coming exactly 1 centimeter. So, 1 centimeter means 10 millimeter divide by 2. So, we will get 5 and we will write 5 out here. Now, let's find the northing point. Keep your ruler straight, vertical. Now, see, we are. this is also exactly at 10. That means, divide by 2, you will get 5. So, the Six figure grid for spot height 437 is 215185. Okay. I hope it is clear to you. The four figure grid and six figure grid is very important. So please practice this every day. The more you practice, the more you become thorough. So if you practice every day, four to five marks is already in your pocket. Now, next, I'll be telling you what is contour, contour interval. Contour is an imaginary line that is drawn on a map to connect a place having equal heights above mean sea level. Okay, so contour is an imaginary line. See, this type of lines you will see in the topo sheet. Next, sometimes they might ask you the definition. Okay, so you need to remember this. Contour interval or CI is the vertical difference between two consecutive contour lines which mean which remains constant throughout the map the gap between two contour lines next index contour index contour is a thick line which is numbered and denoting every fifth contour line on a topographic map if you look at it close to it now see this is a dark color see one two three four and the fifth line so this fifth line Fifth line is your index count. So every after four line, you'll get that fifth line which is drawn a bit broader, darker. That is your index contour. Okay. Now let me show you how the contour map appears on your topo sheet. Now look at this. These brown lines are your contour lines. Now you won't see these contour lines everywhere. The contour line depicts the elevated line. That means the land is bit higher. Okay, and the 
point is also given here see here the height of the contours now most of the time they will not ask like whether it's a slopey land or a plateau and all but it's always good to know what is plateau what is a, a slope is it a steep slope or is it a gentle slope so all these diagrams are already given in your textbook so please just go through those text okay those diagrams you will understand the different contour lines now most of the time they will ask you the question like what is the counter interval of a map now that time you need not worry answers everything is there in your topo map only so i'll show you where will you find that answer if you get a question what is the interval of or what is the counter interval of the particular map suppose they ask you the question what is the counter interval of a topo map or of this particular reference map then you don't have to worry where to find the answer answer is just right here counter interval 20 meters this is your answer 20 meters okay the counter interval of this reference map is 20 meters please don't forget to mention the meters sometimes they might ask you what is the unit used for the counter interval then here heights and counters in here meters clearly written in your topo map so i hope it is clear to you so please refer to the diagram as i told you if the counter lines are very near to each other that's a slope okay it's a very steep slope if the counter lines are far from each other that's a gentle slope okay then you have equally a uh, river valley or a uniform slope just refer to your textbook all the diagrams are there in your textbook please don't miss my other two videos which will be covering the remaining parts of topographical map if you like my video please press the like button share it and don't forget to subscribe and please press the bell icon so that you will get the notification of my new videos. Thank you and have a wonderful day.